we've talked about the qualifications of the levites mm. so how do we identify them in a, you know today in our churches number one, are they called wameitwa mm. wamejiita you see uh, because imam how do how do we, how will the man of god know who you mtu ameitwa because atakuja mm. the person has skills and anajua kuimba kuna mtu aliniambia you might know how to sing very well mm. but you have no anointing of god yes. that means you're not called by god yes so how will the man of god know or how will we know that our brother here is really called now um, when we are doing an interview at the marketplace in our job and what 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 we are looking for mm. as the company and so we write out the qualification of what we need mm-hmm. and so many people will come for the interview and then we will vet them one by one and then we will know who qualifies mm-hmm. to be this who meets our qualification they might not meet it 100% mm-hmm. but at least they are meeting it 70% mm-hmm. the 30% we will teach them okay okay mm-hmm. same applies to a pastor mm-hmm. when he wants to bring in a drama a pianist a worship leader that he wants to put them on payroll mm. because yes if you need them to serve you throughout you love to pay them mm. so that is now the job they'll be doing yes. but now here's the thing you have to take them through the process them coming and speaking in tongues and singing their lungs out is not a qualification it doesn't it doesn't qualify mm-hmm. just because you speak in tongues hebraic tongues mm-hmm. in capital letter <laughs> doesn't make you a worship leader <laughs> okay? shouting is not yeah. is, it doesn't it's, make it's you praying <laughs> so loud mm-hmm. and 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 pacing around doesn't quoting scriptures and and memorizing verses mm-hmm. doesn't make you a worship leader okay you if fasting for long doesn't make you one mm-hmm. you can you can pray you can speak in tongues but you are a, a stubborn tongue speaker mm-hmm. an arrogant worship praiser <laughs> you get the point yes yes you, you yes you are doing this physical activity we are seeing but deep down in your heart mm. you are the most arrogant person you are the most proud person you are the most unteachable person mm-hmm. you are the most rude person one of the biggest liars and those are the things that we we can't see mm. When you come you present yourself we will celebrate you eh we will say anafunga mm-hmm. you see mm-hmm. but with time we will know who you are mm-hmm. so as a man of god this is what i normally say how do you know a levite that qualifies to actually even partake of the tithe of the altar mm-hmm. and the giving that people are giving number one, the, the spirit of discernment test the spirit test their abilities yes test their opportunity drums of a new audition mm-hmm. let them know how to sing how to lead and all this but after that stage 2 test the spirit mm-hmm. that's what we tell do they have the spirit of god yeah because the spirit of god is one he will witness to a man of god mm-hmm. he will witness to that worship leader he will even witness to the church that this one Uh, this is uh, this is a a a tunasemanga aje ni nini yako ndani ya ngozi ya kondoo mbwa mwitu amejivalia mbwa mwitu mbwa mwitu ndani ya ngozi ya ya kondoo we will be able to show. tell because the minute we we do, we bring the issue of money as a church people will come to serve here not because god has directed them to this church but because they have seen wameona bug mm, the capability of yeah. the, the church to pay they have seen the bug <laughs> and so it is very hard for you as a pastor to differentiate a genuine person and the wrong person and that's why we say the pastor should take them through the test now the six man that we normally call the, we have as worship mm-hmm. leaders those are the best time to test these people mm-hmm. even at at workplace when you employ someone we give them probation period mm-hmm. probation period we don't pay them full salary mm-hmm. if we pay them full salary we tell them it is three months after three months based on what how you have performed we will dictate whether to give you a contract or not mm-hmm. the first three months you don't sign any contract uh-huh. you are like an intern a paid intern So after three months we have seen your character we have seen your work output now that's when we know you now qualify to be part of our staff so we give you a contract mm-hmm. a performance a contract you sign mm-hmm. and you become a full member of our team 